Vamos a hablar sobre los verbos reflexivos en español. The reflexive verbs in Spanish. So, how do we know whether they're reflexive or not? The reflexive construction is going to be the subject being also the, ob the object. And it also means that a person does as well as receives the action. And the subject, the pronoun, and the verb are all in the same form. So, let's find out how we do this. For example, Yo me levanto a las ocho de la mañana. Ella se despierta muy temprano. ¿A qué hora te desayunas cada día? Mis hermanas se maquillan en su cuarto. Nosotros nos acostamos muy tarde. Pepito se baña en el baño. So, yo me levanto is I get up. So, I get myself up at 8 in the morning. Ella se despierta, she wakes up. ¿A qué hora te desayunas? Te desayunas is, is do you have breakfast? Mis hermanas se maquillan, so my sisters put on makeup. Nosotros nos acostamos, we go to bed, muy tarde, very late. Pepito se baña, Pepito takes a bath. How do you form these verbs? Levantarse. So to conjugate a verb, as always, we need to forget about the se for a second. So we're going to cross it out for a minute and go back to its infinitive form with the AR, ER, and IR ending. Just so we can first identify the verb and then... Uh, and then we can conjugate. So identifying the levantarse with an AR ending, we can see that our endings are going to be AR. So levanto, levantas, levanta, levantamos, levantáis, levanta. Now we're going to add the reflexive pronouns. Me levanto, te levantas, se levanta, nos levantamos, os levantáis, se levantan. And the same thing goes for despertarse. But now despertarse is a stem changer. It goes from an E to an IE. Me despierto. Te despiertas. Se despierta, nos despertamos, os despertáis, se despiertan. Vestirse. Now the first E there in vestirse is going to go from an E to an I. And then we're going to add the pronouns. Me visto. Te vistes. Se viste. Nos vestimos. Os vestís, se visten. Acostarse, same thing. But now it is a stem changer from an O to a UE. Cepillarse. It is not a stem changer, but the same thing goes as we've been doing on all of the other verbs. So how and where do we put our pronouns, the reflexive pronouns? Well, it's going to be in front of the conjugated verb, if the verb is conjugated, obviously. So, me acuesto a las diez de la noche. Me quiero acostar a las diez de la noche. Notice that acostar is not conjugated. And the reason for that is because quiero is conjugated. So remember that rule from Spanish 1. 
that whenever you do have two verbs exactly followed by each other, the second one stays in its infinitive AR, ER, and IR ending form, and the first verb gets conjugated to the subject to which you are referring to. In this case is I. I want to go to sleep at 10 at night. Me estoy acostando ahora mismo. Okay, so how do we attach it to the end of that reflexive verb? Estoy acostándome. So now we have the ing, a-n-d-o, and uh, the e, i-e-n-d-o, if we're using the ing in English for I am going to sleep right now at this moment. So it's something that's happening right now. Luisa está cepillándose los dientes. So remember, the accent is always going to go in that syllable, right? the last syllable of the verb before you do the se and the a-n-d-o or the yendo. And it's going to be attached to an infinitive if you don't conjugate the verb. It's going to be its infinitive form. So, voy a acostarme ahora mismo. Luisa va a cepillarse los dientes. So, notice that the pronoun is still there and it's still going to reflect the subject, but it's now attached to the end of its infinitive form of a verb. Reflexivo o no. So the verbs that are reflexive are always going to have the say at the end. And if they're not going to be reflexive at that moment, they're not going to have that say at the end. Just a little bit of vocabulary. Espejo is a mirror. La toalla is a towel. Desodorante is a deodorant. La ducha is the shower. El maquillaje is the makeup. La tina is a bathtub. So right now, go ahead and grab a piece of paper, and I would like you to try to answer these questions on your own. And you may pause the video, um, as you can give yourself enough time to do these on your own. So, ¿a qué hora te despiertas por la mañana? At what time do you wake up in the morning? So, I would answer this question by saying, Me despierto a las 5 y 45 por la mañana. ¿Te sientes bien o mal hoy? I would respond to this question by saying, Hoy me siento muy bien. ¿Estás desayunándote ahora, ahora mismo? I would answer, No, no estoy desayunándome ahora mismo. ¿Quieres acostarte ahora? I would respond, no, no quiero acostarme ahora. ¿Quién en tu familia se maquilla? En mi familia, familia, yo soy la única que se maquilla. ¿Usted se levanta, se lava en las manos antes de comer? So, do you all wash your hands before you eat? Sí, yo me lavo las manos antes de comer. So I'm only answering the question about myself. But go ahead and answer these questions on your own. You can either write it down or simply just say them verbally.
All right, chicos. So now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to write these statements down and you're going to go and translate it yourself. And pause the video to give yourself enough time to do these before I show you the answers to them so that you can check yourself and make sure that you did it right. So my sister put my mother puts my sister to bed early would be mi madre pone mi hermana a dormir temprano. I'm going to get up early tomorrow. Voy a despertarme temprano mañana. We have to bathe the dog now. Tenemos que bañar al perro ahora mismo. My sister is combing her hair right now. Mi hermana se peina el pelo ahora mismo. My friends want to sit in the library. Mis amigos quieren sentarse en la biblioteca. I wash the dishes in the kitchen. Lavo los platos en la cocina. I hope this has helped you guys out. If you have any questions about the reflexive verbs or their pronouns, please be sure to reach out to me. Hasta luego, chicos. Ciao.